Okay, peeps, hi. I'm going to um, read from my essential oil book about turpentine to help educate people who think that it is just a um, something you get at the hardware store to strip paint. It is used in that, but there's other chemicals in that, so that is not what you think it is. That is for stripping paint. You wouldn't want to take that Put it on your body, take it internally, and you don't drink turpentine. You use like drops of it. So people are so misinformed, uninformed really, and they're just ignorant and don't know. So they shouldn't be making fun of people who are incorporating this because you're the one that's the ignorant one. So if you want to learn something, just listen to, and I'll read it to you from this book from Julia Lawless that I've had for many, many years. Okay. The Herbal Folk Tradition. Known to Galen and Hippocrates for many applications, especially with regard to pulmonary and genital urinary infections, digestive complaints, and externally as a treatment for rheumatic or neuralgic pain and skin conditions. In China, the olea resin has been used both externally and internally for centuries for excess phlegm, bronchitis, rheumatism, stiff joints, toothache, boils, sores, ringworm, and dermatitis. The turpentine essence or spirit of turpentine is said to be four times more active than the crude turpentine. Gum turpentine is a loosely applied term to the natural ole resin formed as a physiological product in the trunks of various pine trees. Turpentine refers both to the crude olea resin, which is a mix of oil and resin, and to the distilled and rectified essential oils. Okay, so here are its um, actions. It's analgesic, antimicrobial, antihermetic, antiseptic, all the essential oils are antiseptic. Antispasmodic, balsamic, diuretic, citricacent, which is for scars to help, you know, eliminate the scars. <clears throat> Counter irritant, expectorant, hemostatic, parasite, parasiticide. That means it kills parasites. That's why people are using it. Do you realize what kind of a you know, attack we're under with this kind of stuff. Rubifacin, stimulant, tonic, and vermisuge. So it is used for um, aches and pain in cough and cold remedies. And also it's, um, let me see, it is a fixative agent and in pine and industrial perfumes. Mainly known as a paint and stain remover solvent and insecticide also used as a starting material for the production of terpenol and other things so um i just wanted to let you know that you know with the proper use of it it is a medicine it is you know not it's not the stuff that you buy at the at the hardware store although it's in that but that's not what people are drinking and they're not drinking it anyway so what people say about it, like I don't think Owen even knows what he's talking about. He's just repeating back stuff that he hears from everybody else that are actually doing this. And because he doesn't know how to describe it. He doesn't even use it. I know he doesn't use it. He doesn't even know how to use it. So um, anyway, I just hope this clears up some stuff. It is the essential oil of pine. So um, just keep that in mind. And it is a very potent um, help in our situation that we're in these days. So I hope everyone is doing well and, uh, I'll try to, I have, I've got so much stuff going on right now. I can't get to doing my lives and <clears throat> putting out more information like I would like to, but this is stuff that I use on myself. You could do what you want with it, but I just thought I would help clear up some of that. And I'm reading it from a book. So, you know, I mean, I know this stuff myself, but I just want to help educate people as best I can. So hopefully you'll take this into consideration.